All right, I'm going to attempt to fuel the car for the first time. So I got my uh, 10 amp fuse down in the uh, fuse pod there. And I've got my uh, fuel pressure sender coming off the back of the fuel uh, fuel rail. And then that goes into a boost reference fuel pressure regulator back to the tank through the blue return line. Uh, Adam gave me this. It's off an old turbo dodge. So should add one PSI of, of fuel pressure for every PSI of boost. Uh, that it sees through this reference here. So uh, that should keep my fuel nice and even in boost. Um, it's 55 PSI and stock is 45. So I went ahead and converted uh, the flow rate of the injectors over to the new fuel pressure and actually makes them seem like bigger injectors, which works well. If I still need them bigger than, I think they're at 563 cc a minute. So it should be pretty big for this motor should do I think like 300 horsepower worth of fueling so uh, if I run out I can always get a an adjustable regulator and kick the pressure up a little bit more um, if I want to go E85 I'll need to kick that pre well possibly need to kick the pressure up um, I doubt it but we'll see so uh, I'm gonna go in and turn on the key and shit. turn on the key and see what my gauge tells me for fuel pressure. You can hear that wall bro in the back. So it's falling once I... So the mega squirt's gonna kick that output on for a couple of seconds just to uh, pressurize the line, get it ready to start. You can see how good fuel pressure. Um, everything's good. I think I'm going to try to fuse up the injectors and try to start the car. <laughs> 